الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet Islam brothers, let's recite the Rudan Salam upon the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Rasulallah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Nabiyallah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurallah Excellence of reciting salutations upon the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam the noble rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated whoever recites 10 durood upon me Allah azza wa jal sends 100 mercies upon him sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the book excellence of call to righteousness on page 385, it mentions the mother of a person was critically ill and was on a deathbed, meaning she was dying. The unwise son behaved badly towards her and abandoned her. The poor mother passed away in the same condition. Time went by. After 30 years, the same unwise person got diarrhea, became becoming very weak at last, he had to reap what he had sown. People heard him saying tearfully, I have three sons, but none of them takes care of me at all. I have been ill for many days, but they have not come to meet me even once. Eventually, like his mother, he died alone at night. On the morning, his neighbors saw that ants were crawling over his corpse and were biting him. In Wasali Bakshish on page 668, it mentions, Give up hurting the feelings of your parents. Otherwise, it will result in ruin. Dear Islam brothers, in fact that the one hurting the feelings of his parents receives punishment even in the world. The Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If Allah azza wa jal wills, he Azza wa Jal can delay the punishment for every sin until the day of judgment. But He Azza wa Jal punishes the one disobedient to his parents within his lifetime as well. The person who keeps his parents happy is very fortunate indeed. The unfortunate one who, dis who displeases his parents will end up with destructiveness. Allah Azza wa Jal said, Metaphorically, in Surah Bani Israel, part 15, ayah 23 to 25, translation from Kanzal Iman, treat your parents with goodness. If either of them or both reach old age in your presence, do not say off any expression of annoyance to them and do not rebuke them and speak to them with respect and spread for them the arm of humility with mercy and say my lord have mercy on them both as they brought me up when i was a child your lord is well aware of what is in your hearts dear islam brothers in the above mentioned ayah allah azza wa jal has given the order to be kind to parents and has emphasized that they should be particularly looked after in their old age the old age of parents certainly puts offsprings to the test. Sometimes very old parents pass urine and stool in bed, causing the offsprings to get extremely fed up. But remember that it is obligatory for them to serve their parents even in this condition. Look, the mother also takes the trouble of changing the nappy of her child in childhood. Therefore, even if they are extremely hot-tempered, bad-tempered, insane, quarrelsome and troublesome due to their old age and diseases, 
you still have to be patient and patient and nothing but patient with them treating them with respect do not even say off to them let alone being rude to them and shouting at them otherwise you may suffer a great loss meeting doom in the world and the hereafter the one who hurts the feeling of his parents is humiliated and disgraced in the world and deserves torment in the hereafter. Was Saleh Bakshish on page 668 give up hurting the feelings of parents, otherwise it will result in ruin. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islam brothers, Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal, today is Thursday and we have the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima which will take place at 8 p.m. here in Fazani, Medina, Halifax. It is a monthly request you invite other Islam brothers to attend and today will be a special event of the remembrance of Karbala and the biography and the vaatiya of Karbala will be discussed this evening and Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal, there will be a zikr, there will be a dua, there will be langar sharif at the end as well. So do participate with the intention of conveying reward to the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah azawajal tomorrow there will be a madani kafla traveling for three days on the 28th, 29th and 30. It is also a madani request that you come on this madani kafla for the Isa al-Iswab for the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and inshallah you will reap so much reward and may Allah azawajal with the blessing of this kafila grant you death with iman and grant your offsprings and your family paradise. Ameen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidil mursaleen jazallahu anna muhammadan ma huwa ahlu بسم الله على ديني بسم الله على نفسي وولدي وأهلي ومالي O oh Allah Azawajal, today's dars we have listened to the respect of parents. If any of our parents have become an old age, give us ability to look after them, to serve them, to achieve blessings through them. And Ya Allah Azawajal, give us protection of Iman with the, with the blessings of the du'as. O oh Allah Azawajal, those parents who are old age and they have no children who care about them, give them children the ability to wake up and to serve their parents. Ya Allah Azawajal, those children who criticize their parents, who swear at their parents, who shout at their parents, who raise their voice at their parents, Ya Allah Azawajal, grant them forgiveness and give them the ability to make sincere tawbah. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, life is very short. Second by second we are moving closer and closer to our death. Soon we will be lowered into our dark, lonely grave. A chance of forgiveness. We must follow the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal and the example of our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, bless us with true Iman, protection of Iman and give us ability to act upon the Naik Amal and give his ability to fill in the naik amal and to travel on the madani qafila. Bless the muqtadis, Ya Allah, grant them good health, a long and pious life. Ya Allah, Azawajal, and accept this in sincere du'as. Sallallahu ala nabiyyi al-ummiyyi wa alihi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, salatan wa salaman alayki, Ya Rasulullah, subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, والحمد لله رب العالمين